Hello beautiful people, let's talk sex after baby. We're going to start with the physical things you need to know and then we'll jump into the emotional. You, you, you okay? Are you okay? Hold on. Sorry, my youngest has decided to skip nap time so she's going to be keeping us company. So the physical things you need to know. Your pediatrician, pediatrician, that, well, you're going to need one of those, but that's not what we're talking about. Your OB is going to suggest that you wait at least six weeks before having sex again. This is to let everything kind of reset. And hearing this now may sound like six weeks, that's forever. But right after having a baby, it sounds like he's saying you can have sex tomorrow. And that is terrifying. And we'll get to that in a minute. They are also going to ask that you consider between birth and your six week appointment, what type of birth control you would like to use. Simply because if you, it's easier to start it then, um, breastfeeding kind of puts a halt on it. It's not, um, it's not foolproof birth control, but um, you're gonna need a plan past that, unless you're just not doing birth control at all. Um, but if they're going to, if you're going with, um, oh goodness. If you're going with something like Mirena or an IUD, I would say IED and that's not true, an IUD, um, they're going to want to place it around that six week mark. So keep that in mind. And they're kind of hounding you about birth control so quickly because they are going to suggest also that you wait at least one year before having another child. Now you're thinking, I just had a baby. I'm not worried about that. Um, you can get pregnant very soon after pregnancy and that's not 100% healthy for you and your baby. You're the newest addition to your family has leached a lot of the mineral stores that are in your body, um, including some of your calcium out of your body and your body needs time to replenish those things and to kind of reset um, to get ready for another baby. Hey, one second. So they're gonna ask you to wait at least one year before having another baby. What else do you know about, need to know about physical? Oh, there's this idea that floats around out there. I don't know when little boys started saying rude things about this, but there's this idea that after you have a baby, your lady parts become this cave of wonder. Um, it's not. Your body does a pretty good um, job of bringing things back together and tightening things up. You may still, you may find yourself now peeing on yourself when you sneeze a little bit, but hey, we're not perfect. But as far as your reproductive system, your body does a pretty good job right after birth starting to reset that thing. So um, that's not a cave and it can be uncomfortable because it's kind of like starting over, if you know what I mean. So you're going to uh, wanna take things slow. We'll talk about that in a second. If you are breastfeeding especially, or you haven't started stopped lactating, um, the hormone level in your body that helps produce that breast milk, breast milk, really, um, may interfere with um, the natural lubrication of your body. So you may experience some dryness, and this can occur for pretty much as long as you breastfeed. Um, so if you don't plan on breastfeeding long term, this issue will kind of resolve itself rather quickly. But if you plan on um, breastfeeding up to a year, six months to a year mark, you're going to need some, you may need some assistance in this area. And I'll get into how we can deal with that later. Um, also, your hormone levels may cause your libido to be kind of low, which kind of sucks because you're already tired, um, exhausted exhausted and tired those are two different things you'll figure that out um but you're just kind of gray anyway but to have low libido on top of that it's just not fun you just feel like a downer but that is your hormone levels a good old hormones always a friend because your body is is in a stage where it's just trying to sustain your newborn it's not ready for you to be reproducing yet it'll allocate hormones to that in about a year when it's ready for that but right now it's let's make milk let's feed the baby your hormones just finished nine months of let's grow a baby so it's not really ready to grow another baby yet so your ba your body's not thinking about sex you're probably not thinking about sex but eventually you will and your body may not be there yet so those are a few of the physical things you need to know 
six week checkup, um, six weeks before sex, one year before having a child. Um, it's not a cave and uh, you may experience some dryness and low libido. Fun. Next we're going to go into the emotional after I check on my baby. One moment. Okay, so the emotional. There's something psychologically interesting about the fact that you've pushed out something the size of a watermelon and putting something back into you is just kind of terrifying. Just the entire idea of having sex again can be terrifying. You've been through something traumatic. It's, it, it, yeah. Even the best birth afterwards, you're just like, ah, we're not trying to do that anytime soon, are we? So um, just the idea of sex can be a little bit terrifying. There's just something psychologically interesting about that whole process, especially if you, um, like tear, you're just like, can we, are we sure everything is healed back up before we start messing around, putting things in the, you just want people to stay out. Um, speaking of which, the biggest emotional thing that I found is that there is this moment of frustration um, where you feel a little too needed, where your baby's kind of needed you. It's needed breast milk, it's needed you to hold it and, and love it, and that's great when it's just your baby. But then when your husband comes home and he's like, hey babe, you sexy thing, you're just like, no, get away from me, don't touch me, I don't want anyone else touching me. So you're holding the baby, it's spitting up on you, your husband slaps your butt and you just want to walk out. Hey, don't take it personal, it's okay, it's okay. She's mad at my background. <laughs> um, you just feel a little too needed. There's, it's just, you just want people to leave your body alone. Nobody needs my body right now. You're like, the breasts belong to the baby. You just, you just want, you just want to be left alone. And that sucks because you do want to get back in the lovey-dovey mood with your partner and just to feel like your libido's low, there's dryness going on there, and then you just feel like everyone just stopped wanting me for a second. It's just kind of a bummer kind of place to be. It's fine. Express that with your partner. Let them know this is how I'm feeling because you guys should prep and make sure that this intro back into um, sex is good for both of you because it's no fun to not want to have sex, but you feel like you got to and you want to, but you don't want to. Cool. You get me? Okay. So here are some suggestions. You should, why did I hesitate? Um, uh, mom brain. Lube should be on the list of things that you put on your baby shower registry. Go ahead and put that on there. Let your best friend just, hey, like, hey, I need, I'm gonna need, eventually we'll do it again. So can you just go ahead and put that on the list of things for me? Um, or I suggest maybe going with your partner and shopping for it as an intro back into the bedroom. Why make things fun? Just something grown up for you guys to do since you've had a baby spitting up on you for the past few weeks. It'll be a good intro to just let you both kind of get into the mindset that yes, maybe we should have sex again. Um, yeah, so that'll be fun. Something fun you can do together. Another thing I suggest is because it's not a cave of wonder, not a cave, um, take things slow. Um, just, you're kind of starting kind of wedding night over again, okay? So take things slow, and that's hard to do with a baby. So my suggestion on top of that is make sure your first time back in the bed is not a quickie. I know that sounds like what it's gonna be because you've got a baby, but maybe this one should be planned. Go ahead and have somebody babysit your little one. You guys have gone shopping for lube together. You're kind of in the mindset together and you can take your time because it may be different. And different is not bad, it's just different. Um, hey, there's stages in life, everything is weird when you're together, you go through changes together, and this is just another one of them. So taking things slow and being able to take your time and talk your way through it um, is probably the best way to go. So arrange it as a date night. Somebody to keep your baby, date night, I know it's early, don't wanna leave the baby that long. But um, if your baby's taken a bottle already, go ahead and leave them with grandma for a little while. And you guys take some time to get to know each other again. Sex after baby can be emotional and stressful, but it doesn't have to be, not if you prep yourself. So those are my suggestions. Six weeks, one year, um, 
There can be dryness, low libido, especially as long as you're breastfeeding. So prep for that. You can ask your friends to buy that for your baby shower or go and purchase it together. Schedule some time together for the first time so that you guys can enter into that little adventure on the same page and nobody's not wanting to be there. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I hope that that covers most any questions you have, but if it doesn't, please feel free to ask me questions below. I'm perfectly um, okay with answering sex after baby questions. It's not awkward. Just know that sex after baby makes a baby if you're, if you're not careful. So, um, unless you're trying to do that right afterwards. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Seriously. She's not happy with my background. One second. Alright, that's pretty much all I need to let you guys know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and definitely comment. Ask questions. We need other things to talk about. Uh, if you have any more sex questions, uh, perfectly okay with answering that. Just know that if you have sex, there's a chance you'll make another one of these. It's cute, but uh, it also spits up on you and farts while you're trying to record a video. So, uh, yeah. I will see you guys on Monday with a mommy moment, and then on Wednesday with a quick tip. And then next Friday or, and or Saturday, which is looking like Saturday is a better day, um, we'll do another video like this and we'll talk. Uh, love you guys. And if you're expecting a baby this week, ew, ew. If you're expecting a baby this week, congratulations. It's just adventures and adventures and adventures after that. Bye, guys.